Greetings, entities and guardians. My name is Hyper Himes, and welcome back to Cookie Run Oven Break, where I'm going to be running in the Champions League because apparently the whole stuff for Champions League reset because Hydrons are season one finished. And if you're wondering if I did good, nope, I barely ran this season at all. I should have probably ran more, in my opinion. But whatever. But as you can see, there are, uh, I guess, I think it's the same maps, but like, honestly, since it's a new season, I feel like I need to run in this still, only just because, why the plug not? Like, is this first map new? I don't remember, I don't remember this map being, uh, like, I, I think I can remember this one, like, TBD, but like, they must have changed the first map. I think? I don't know. Maybe I can make, uh... Because I could have sworn... I do not remember this being the first map. I could have sworn it was something else. But I don't remember. Maybe it was? Maybe it was the same? Maybe I'm remembering things incorrectly? But I don't know. I'm not sure if you do want to see this again. The I do... I just, the reason why I want to make this video is because I just wanted to cover it just in case. Because, you know, hey, it's season 2 of Hydrinja. So why the plub not? And also there's some congratula uh, congratulatory things. You can give them out. And uh, hey, 10 magic powder. It's kind of disappointing. But uh, come on. The chances of getting 10,000 crystals or a suit was that super epic tippet, tippet, ticket, a uh, costume bundle ticket, five costumes from the gotcha, or what, both 0.1% and 300 rainbow cubes is 1%. Oh my gosh, that'd be a fun video to do, but like, I can't just focus on solely that. Whatever. I guess what I can just do is I'm just going to run these maps again and see if I can do any better. It could just be straight repeats because like, it is a season two. I'm not sure if they legitimately changed anything. But if they did, that would be rather cool. What would even be better to run with the Epic or the just... I don't know. This map seems new. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to run all three maps. We're going to give them Gander. And like, we'll see if I've done any better. Okay. I do at least remember with a clubbing white chocolate cookie is that dashing is key for everything. Which I know that for a fact because I remember just being solely remembered for that. Uh, from doing a white chocolate cookies trial. Oh, I should have... Pro oh, I'm just restarting right there. <laughs> I, I'm not going to take damage that early into the run. Like, no, that, I just feel like that'd be insulting. And I missed so many obstacles right there, too. Oh, my gosh. One more restart. Okay, one more. Don't worry. After this, I'm just going to stop. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to be super sentimental about the things I destroy, you know? Uh, but anyway, okay, let's do this for real this time. And if I get damaged, then you know what? I'm just going to have to suck it up and eat it because, uh, well, I'm, I'm not a good cookie run runner. Like, not even just a good cookie run YouTuber. I'm not a good cookie runner. Do you, did you expect me to be a professional? If you did, there's something wrong with you. Because, like, <laughs> I don't know what you expected of my skills. Okay, so I can run here. That's good. Uh, I'll just do a dash right there. Uh, I feel like I need to save my dash for, like, big bombards, like, of obstacles. But also, I can't just instantly use my dash. Because, like, I want to see, like, you know, I'm saving them for, like, stuff like that. Like, there was a good multitude of obstacles right there. So it's pretty good. But they're all, like... They also got some magnets to them, like the plumbing uh, skill, uh, magnetization. Oh, okay, we'll transform all of that too. Uh, I guess we'll just do it right there. Okay, that was a bit of obstacles destroyed, not bad. You are best. Well, you know what? I'm actually very happy that you told that to me, game. Because, well, I need to hear more of that in my life. I spent a lot of money recently, which I, am I not too proud of it? Honestly, I actually am, mainly because it was for a good cause. I'm not going to, like, talk about it too much because uh, I felt like that would be me, like, trying to flex something that shouldn't need to be flexed. But I'm just saying there was someone who needed the money, and I was like, you know what? You take it. You take it. You deserve it. You need it way more than I do. And, like, it's one of those things where, like, I would like to save my money up, but, like, I, if someone is in need and needs that money, I, of course, need to give all my support in the world. Because everyone needs any out of, like, money when they're in the danger situation. That's all I'm going to say. They were in, like, a rough spot. Uh, but, yeah, now I remember. This is all about, uh, plumbing obstacles being destroyed. Now that I remember it. Okay, I wonder how many, uh, uh jumps. Oop. Sheesh. Oh, just, okay, there we go. Okay, a little bit. Yeah, just do it right there. Ah, uh, that's good. And also crank out all those jumps. As many jumps as I can. Wait for some more obstacles to appear. Yep. Oh, that was clean. Plumbing clean is everything. Okay, nice slice right there. Uh, I was also I was thinking of doing like a poll on a video uh, where like I'm not sure. Well, I can't do polls on videos anymore. I think you used to, but like something I really want to talk about is that would you all like be interested in some of the more content like being more on the edited side? Kind of like for example, uh, the best way I can uh, give it a good example of this is my video with the uh, plumbing uh, random breakout challenge. Except like uh, you know, there's a big twist behind it, but. I don't know. Oh, I got the bonus time. Okay, good. Uh, but would you all want to see like content like this more edited? The reason why I don't heavily edit my content is because I don't want my personality to be like controlled by like 
I don't want it to be defined by like funny ads and stuff like that, even though I feel like that's the big majority of what your local club does. But I, it seems like in comparison to like other videos, people actually saw that more. Cause like, I guess for reference, maybe some videos we get like two to 300 views and that one's n nearly at 800, which is plenty shocking. I need to I just completely admit that. But I don't know. It just seems like something that I really just wanted to talk to you all about. Cause I was curious, cause I would like to put in more effort for some content because you know, I, I only have so much time on this planet, so I need to do as much as I can just so I can try and do as much good and try and get as much uh, viewership as I can with the small amount of time that I have. I don't know. It would be pretty interesting to note. Uh, I didn't do good there, but I did get top 35%. A minus. I'm surprised how I even got in the A ranks in general. That's pretty good. Got all that loot, some breakout tickets, some crystals, and some other things. You know what? For the first run, that's actually not too bad. Uh, look at that. I can also max out white chocolate and everyone else if I wanted to. I wish it was everyone else, but it's just the plumbing stopwatch, Sir Butler thing. I've also noticed that you do get a bonus points for uh, destruction points, 160,000, which is pretty good. But now we can move on to the second map being uh, just the time balance department thing, which is 100,000 points for extra giant bear jellies, which I don't know if Lollipop or uh, I'm not sure who would be better here. But honestly, just for the banter of it, I'm going over to Lollipop Cookie and I'm throwing some spirit potions at you to max you out because that also gives me a title. Welcome. Let's play. Level 15. And maybe that can help me out in the trial? Maybe? I don't know. Let's give it a gander. I'm not sure how good it, I'll do in this, but I know Kamiho Cookie can be a confusing cookie for me to use, just mainly because of the fact that, like, after you transform into the box, you need to double jump just to try and maintain all the uh, points that you end up obtaining. Because, And by that, I mean just, like, if you, you're you a cookie right now, and, uh, oh, I'm just going to restart right there. <laughs> it was early in the trial, it's okay. Anyway, <laughs> I miss one thing and I restart. I feel like that's going to be a meme now. If it's like longer than one minute in, then like I won't. I honestly, I won't care. I'm just gonna have to roll with the punches. But if it's like super early, then I want to try and get as much of a boost of like points as I can. And I swear, those ramp jumps with the plumbing platforms raising up and down, they can be tricky, very tricky. But honestly, as I was saying, Kamiho can be pretty tricky just because of the fact that uh, like after you transform back into your fox, oh, I missed some of those rainbow bird jellies. That's whatever. Uh, once you transform back into the fox, you can't collect the orbs anymore, and then you need to double jump to try and turn back into your uh, cookie form. Which is kind of hard, because there's some areas where it's like hard to like try and figure out what is the best place, or where's the best place to double jump, which I guess this is actually a very good place to do it all. But you also have to bear in mind, you, are, you gotta make sure that those orbs spawn in good places, because if you don't... Oh, I almost fell right there. Oh, I almost fell. That was scary. Okay, but like, you need those orbs to spawn as, as, as constantly as you can, because if you don't, then how the plumber are you going to maintain more points? Because you can't get any points in fox form. You can only get points in cookie form. I mean, yeah, you sure, you can, you can get points in fox form. But, like, it's not going to be as lenient because the cookies won't be entranced by your luscious looks. Because apparently, whoever's in love with Kamiho is not mad to call themselves a furry. I guess we're just going to go with that. Uh, keep on running. And also, you got to make sure that you have a good line of jellies to, like... Because, like, I don't know how to explain this. I'm pretty sure that, like... Kamiho, Kamiho transforming orb only like spawns if it's near like a big amount of jellies though I could be wrong on that and I'm, I'm, I'm all, I also hate whenever you get an orb and it's like okay that's fine that's cool oh that was close okay there we go back to cookie form uh, I did miss a little bit of the rainbow bird jellies but I should be fine for a majority, like the uh, most part it'll be a little bit easier once I hit lollipop cookie phase I swear at least it should be because at least with lollipop cookie like you don't even have to focus on the skill much because it just happens over time. It just happens passively, so you don't need to, like, pause and just go, like, Oh, it's time to pause running. It's time to make some, uh, plumbing toys. Or whatever. Uh, plum. Da -dup, da -dup. Okay, good. Good. Double jump. Get the magnet. Whoop. 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 And got that potion. Fantastic. More points for me. Now we're in the timekeeper portion. Fantastic. Gonna keep on pushing forward like the little fox cookie thing I am. So now truly, Kamiho is a fox. They wish to be a cookie? Probably, yeah. Pretty sure she actually does. But, anywho. I'm still running out of energy, I need help. Uh, anyway. I wonder what else I can talk about. Uh, you know what? I know since basically we're... I guess we've ran through these maps already. Uh, something I can mention is that of a game I've actually been playing recently, which, if you're wondering, I'm probably not going to make a video on this, but recently I've been playing the fourth Grand Theft Auto game. I know what you're saying. What, you play Cookie Run for a living, why would you play Grand Theft Auto? I have other game interests, you know, I'm 22 years old. I swear, I, I'm not a baby anymore. Yeah, I remember like back when I was a child, 
And like, the thought of playing like an immature, like a mature adult rated game like scared me. Cause I'm just like, what are, behind, what are behind those age ratings and behind those cases that the game is hiding from me? And luckily I just play it now and they're just like, oh, it's pretty fun. There's a lot of games though, which I'm kind of mad. This year I did say I wanted to play a bunch of games that I own, but I never like, you know, I never touched. And unfortunately we're in June right now, halfway through June more specifically, and I've only played two games. And one of them I've only completed. I've beaten the first Turok. I haven't even touched the second one, which that game is fun. I think that game is quick enough for me to play through where I can actually like do a video on it for like your local club or something. But like, I'm just saying in the uh, grand scope of things, uh, oh wait. What the plum? I was trying- I'm about to do my skill, come on. Wait, did I get S-Rank? Wait. Come on. I- I- I'm, I can't believe I did! Don't I get like a big reward for S-Rank? Is it just more crystals? Uh... I guess the top is the crystal- yeah, it's just 150 crystals. Honestly, not too bad, I gotta be honest. I'm actually impressed with myself for making it that high. Uh, but people apparently use Cream Puff and Herb Cookie. But, yeah. I want to play more games this year, I swear. At least I got top 50% with that map, which I'm personally happy about, but I need to put in a lot more effort if I want to get to the Grand Champions tier. And by put in a lot more effort, I mean spend a lot more money. So now we're going to move on to the last map, which I swear, if I just do better at dodging, this is like the map that I can get an absurd amount of points in. I'm talking absurd. No joke. And this one, it has no special rules. It's just give it your all. You just basically have to do your best. So... I'm going to try and do my best, but there's one spot that usually gets me, and I hate it so much. Because that's basically the pure definition of, like, can I actually get a good amount of points, or will I fail? And usually, it's usually the latter. And it's, it's a sad ladder. But, whatever. I did miss some rainbow bear jugs right there, but it's not the worst thing in the world. Like, this is the level that I want to just, like, keep training and... It wasn't that spot. I Honestly, I was too focused on the rainbow bear jugs. I swear, it's, it's new season sloppiness. I'm going to blame it on that. It's new season sloppiness. Literally at the start of every single level so far, I've somehow managed to screw up somehow at least once. Okay, uh, I got some rainbow bird jellies right there. I'm not sure if I got as much as last time, but whatever. I think I got less rainbow bird jellies, actually. But whatever, this time, keep an... Uh, yeah, because it just abruptly spawned. I didn't see it before. Come on. All right, there we go. Best score. Now we're actually doing better. It's new season, uh, just blindness, I swear. I don't know. Uh, what else can I talk about well, while I'm trying to run in this? Uh, oh yeah, honestly, I bought a book recently. And you may not know what this book is, because it's not a super popular one, but it's some, a book that was made by, like, a longtime friend of mine, or, like, a longtime inspiration. That's the best term I can use for him, because, like, he's inspired me to do so many things, like, even trying to, like, you know, do content creations, like, high form forms of content creation, and even some forms of music. Uh, you may not know him, but, like, on YouTube, they went by the name of Banana Pie Lord, but their music label, they go by I Am Sleepless, but they released a book that I decided to buy because I never imagined them writing a book, and it's, like, this fiction novel, it's called Oliver Toast in the Secret Forest, I believe. Uh, the book is literally behind me, but I'm afraid that if I turn around, it's going to be the equivalent of, like, checking your phone and immediately crashing your car. I've been playing too much GTA 4. Uh, but... But le legitimately, I thought it was interesting because, like, not only is it, like, a book that, like, a, a YouTuber I know that wrote, or at least just, a f not even just, I, I'm not even going to call him a YouTuber, I'm going to call him friend, because they're, like, a genuinely good person who I know genuinely changed, like, at the end of the day, like, from who they once were uh, for the better. And by the way, there's a hair on my screen right now, and that is, you can't see it, but because it's on, on literally on the phone screen, not the actual, like, screen recording, but, like, it's in the way... And the only reason why I couldn't have seen it now is because it's dark. But, like, it's interesting because it's not like, you know, like a YouTube, like a, some sort of a novel where it's like, oh, well, it's like, a, you know, some novel, but like, oh, this is my life on YouTube or something, just like about my life, like some sort of documentary, like a book. No, this is actually like a custom made, like, fiction novel, which is actually very interesting because I would not have imagined them going in that direction. And I already love, I haven't read much of the story so far. I only read a little bit. But I feel, what, I genuinely just love the feeling of the story so far, mainly because, like, I think, ah, uh, that speed boost is also going to be something that, like, kills me. Maybe I could just collect it like that later, but, like, eh. One of the reasons, by, by the way, we're about to get to the point where I'm about to get hit. Because it's, because some of this platforming just majorly sucks. If I could do, like, if I could make it past this, like, first try, I'll be supremely amazed. Like, genuinely. I think it's about to come right now. Okay, there's that. That's good. But, like, no, it's past here. I'm just gonna try and focus real quick because uh, I know this part is just mongrel infested. I swear. Oh my gosh. Did I actually make it past that? Oh, wait, hold on. Yep, there it is. There it is. 
it's the reason that that's also why I didn't want to explain that's where I would usually lose there. It's not because I would usually just get hit there or fall. It's because the tornado blocks the jelly path and I don't know where to go. Don't get me wrong. It gives a lot of points, but it sucks when I fall there because it's just like, huh, I don't know where I'm jumping off to. And the tornado is blocked, is taking away my path of me trying to figure out where to go. And I just got hit again. Okay. Didn't I get hit twice last time that I did this? I legitimately don't remember. Like, I don't remember. But like, I do remember like, this, this is not an easy level. It's not easy at all. If you're, if you're thinking, oh, this is easy. It's way easier said than done. No, trust me. It's hard. It's way hard. I mean, I can at least probably cop S rank, which if I didn't get hit at all, I could probably cop triple S. I, I'm not even like trying to be like, you know, cocky with saying that. I'm saying that in the most legitimate way where if I didn't get hit a single time, I could probably easily actually get S rank. That's how confident I am. Because I can usually average around like, what, like maybe 800 million points every run, I, at least in the last season. I'm not sure if they added anything in this season, but like, I swear, it, I'm, that, I'm that good at this level, I swear. Better than any other level. But like, anyways, I was talking about the story. It's very interesting. If I could recommend you getting it, I absolutely would. Maybe I can leave a link down to it in the description because I did pick it up on Amazon. It is a really good story from the things I've seen so far. Because honestly, I want to like read some more like books in my life. And so, speaking of reading books, I really want to try and get my driver's license. Because, like, come on, people have gotten their license at, like, the age of, like, what, 16? And guess what? I'm 22. And I, I don't even... Oh, that was scary. And I don't even have the capabilities of doing that yet. Oh, let me just get this big potion real quick. Okay, that was close. Uh, let me get over... Oh, shoot. Can I live long enough to actually get, like, uh, one more skill usage in? It might be possible. Probably not, but I'm going to try my hardest. But, like, come on, I just really want to learn. I want to learn how to drive at some point. I don't want to just be that pleb who just doesn't know how to plubbing drive. Like, come on, are you kidding me? Uh, oh my gosh, by the way, I, I'm so close to- Look at that, I'm at double S! I'm literally- that's- how, and we got another bonus time. I didn't even know a bonus time was gonna be there. That's literally what I mean. If I did not get hit with snake fruit, or did anything along those lines, like, didn't fall or didn't get hit, I would probably easily be in, like, super close range of getting, like, plubbing triple S. And may, maybe if, there's even like a small chance that I even get like, you know, maybe S plus rank right here. I guess it depends on like if there's any other things to get me points. I, it, I, I got, I literally got S, S plus. That's how, I swear, it, SSS is so close. It is so close. But look at that, I'm top 10. Top, I'm 9%. Top, that's how, ooh, that's how good I am at, at that map like this. And of course, people are using, they're still using snake fruit, but they're instead using chili pepper, which I guarantee you, they're probably using chili pepper's uh, new costume, just try and get them like buffed stuff. But like, I am not mad about that at all. I feel like if I actually didn't get hit at all, I could probably reach like, on like five, like top five, like top 5%, maybe not top 100, but like, there's always a chance. But I'm very happy with how that went out. That That's literally proof that I swear I could do good in that level if I just try hard enough. But also, we're going to go ahead and uh, clean our statue real quick. going to be neat with that. Uh, beep boop boop beep boop. There we go. Uh, boop ba -dup, ba -dup, boop boop. There we go. And boop zip ba -dup, boop boop. And the statue is clean. Look at that. It's a, it's a old looking tiger lily chocolate costume or uh, statue. Share with a friend? Nah. Uh, what's the next statue? No, that's gonna take a lot more. Oh, whatever. If you enjoyed this video, then please be sure to leave a like on it and also share this video with your friends if you enjoy my kick run content. And if you enjoy my content in general, why not subscribe? And also hit the bell icon and be notified of whatever whatever I do in the future. I also have merch if you want to check it out, but I'm not forcing you to buy anything at all. I also have a Discord down in the description if you want to check it out. It's called the Hype Beast Hub. It's a fun time down there and we're trying to explain each and every single day. Lastly, there's also another link down in the description that leads to a Twitter post where if it gets 10,000 likes, uh, if it gets 10,000 likes, uh, what the am I saying? I'll get the Kick Your End YouTube set for absolutely free. And I'll see if I can remember to leave a link down to the book that I got because I recommend it. It would support my friend and also really recommend, like, you know, doing good. But above all else, I will see you entities and guardians in the next video. Hail the hype, please.